good morning. I'm your host today, Nor Farahani Smyazra. We'll be bringing you the latest updates on this sunny Sunday, May 26, 2024. Now then, let's get started with the headlines. Did you know that Malaysia is ranked third in the list of countries contributing most to marine plastic pollutions? When we think of plastic waste, we tend to think of plastic bottles and bags. But once these every items break down, they tend to cause a more insidious threat to the environment, microplastics. Microplastics are microscopic pieces of plastic that are often invisible to the naked eye. Scientists are only just beginning to understand the impact of microplastics on human health, as there is mounting evidence that it causes respiratory problems and inflammatory bubble disease with the presence of microplastics in stool for the past four years. The research team for the University of Nottingham, Malaysia, has been looking at microplastics in the Langa River in Sango, as well as in the body of animals that they live in there. The findings are in fact very concerning as they have a microplastic particles in every one of the hundred of river water samples they collected. And most alarmingly, they have found microplastic in the body of almost every single element they collected. Fish were also found to be the most highly contaminated. This is worrying as it's meant that the people who consume fish caught from our rivers are much likely to be routinely ingesting microplastics. The same applies to fish caught from ocean where microplastic contamination is also very high. The human health risk poses by microplastics means that urgent action is needed. However, it is extremely challenging to reduce exposure to microplastics as it is already in the air we breath, at the water we drink, and very much likely in the food we eat. By using filter on tap wire, avoiding eating hot foods or drinking hot drinks from plastic containers, and avoiding eating bottom feeders like shellfish and prawn, and all good places to start. Removing the microplastic or the present in the environments will be difficult individually. We should be mindful of how much plastic we use and especially how we dispose of it. Simple measures such as bringing our own stainless steel containers to pack food brought from food stall and using glass or metal bottle to refill instead of buying bottled water go a long way in reducing this, uh, the amount of single-use plastics that may end up in the environment. While the public should be encouraged and empowered to adopt recycling habits. This need to be supported by better waste management facilities and recycling options being made available by local council taxes or other fish initiatives could be introduced to help reduce plastic use and increase the use of recyclable plastics. Government funding for research to help find new ways of removing plastics and microplastics from our marines and freshwater ecosystem and to help develop new biodegradable plastic is greatly needed. Time is ticking. The attitude and behavior of everyone from authorities and industry to public at large need to be changed for the sake of current and future generations. And that's the end of the news today. We we'll hope to see you soon. Until next time, this is Norfar Hanis Miazara signing off.